Hello everybody and welcome to my next FPS boost video number three you want to go ahead and you want to download the program in the description below ultimate windows tweaker okay here is this interface right here okay basically this is going to let you disable some things that windows will not let you disable which will actually help to speed up your computer so first go to performance and i want you to go ahead and set this all the way down to 83 go ahead and copy all these settings right here okay next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to customization Go ahead and copy all my settings right here. Um, for this, I will actually have to test out this some more. You can put this down if you want. And also, if anything ever goes wrong with this, this is like, okay, I need you to also be very, like, careful on this because this is an extremely powerful tool. This can both help your computer and destroy it, okay? Um, if anything goes wrong while doing this, you go ahead and just click Restore Defaults, okay? And go ahead and as you copied all these, you can, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and copy my settings for there. And there's one. Copy all of these. Make sure to pause the video. Copy all of these two. And, yeah, copy all of these. Next thing, you want to go to user accounts. Basically, just copy all my settings here. Everything that I put here is safe. And my computer is still up and running, so that's how you know that it's okay. Then you want to go to additional over here. And copy all my settings right here, okay? Next thing you want to do is go to Internet Explorer. Copy all my settings here. Then go to Security and Privacy. And go ahead and copy all my settings right here. I am pretty sure there is something in here that they keep on enabling back. Um, actually, no, I think everything's fine here. Okay. Um, for here, copy my settings here too. This should also help you out some more. The final thing here to do is go ahead and click apply tweaks. Okay. So let's say, like, I do like this, and then I click Windows Defender, then apply tweaks, then click close. It'll say, since you have applied tweaks, we recommend that you restart your computer for some changes to take place. You want to go ahead and click the little windows icon right here click the power button and click restart if you are ever restarting your computer do not ever restart it by pressing and holding down the power button okay that actually gives you more of a risk of your computer never turning on again i learned that myself okay don't ever do that okay the power button is made to power up the piece not power it down so you should always whenever restarting your pc just always use this little windows icon and just restart manually from here then rather with your power button so go ahead and restart your pc log back in and then let's get moving with the next steps so now another thing what we want to do is that we want a faster startup go ahead and go through your search bar my search bar is disabled i disabled it myself go ahead and just go into your search bar and type in sleep i, I put sleep okay click sleep and power options whoever and um basically you want to go to additional power plans okay so basically when you're in here you want to go ahead and you want to go to choose what the power button does you want to go ahead and you want to click change settings that are currently unavailable and then down here this should show up so if i click this then all these should show up right here okay and then like if you just like check them like if i do like this and then I do like this. You want to save changes, okay? Then restart your computer and start it back up and see if you got faster speed. And if it didn't give you a faster speed that time, restart your computer again. And then it should give you a faster speed when uh, restarting it back up. Okay, the next thing you want to do is that for your games, you actually do want to use Windows Game Mode. It actually does help somewhat boost, like maybe two or three fps but i do know that it does help boost fps i've tested it out so many times go ahead and go to your search bar and type in game that's all you have to do type, just type in game then click control game mode for optimizing your pc games but what you need to do is just click graphic settings and find your game.ex file so like warface right here is like the .ex file once you have your game file implemented into here it will be set to system default by default and basically what you want to do is you want to click your game so like i would just click warface and then i would click options and then you go down to high performance and you click save 
and then restart your game or try to boot it back up and see if it got a little bit of an increase in the FPS. So one thing we're going to do that is really going to help your performance is go ahead and disable a bunch of unneeded services, okay? I am still currently going to the services to see why I can disable to get better performance. So here are my current services that are disabled that can help your performance. First thing you want to do is go ahead and press Windows and R at the same time to get the run menu. Then you want to type in services dot msc and then click enter. Click enter. <laughs> press enter. Okay, you will be opened up into this little service tab, okay? Here's a whole service tab of just a bunch of services. I'll go ahead and show pictures of all the services that you need to disable to get better performance. All the services that you need to disable to get better performance will be highlighted in red. These are all safe services and these will not destroy your computer. If you do have any problems, please contact me at thebrowngaming at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and assist you with any problems that might have occurred with uh, disabling services. So every single service that is labeled in red, you may go ahead and disable. They are totally safe and they do help boost your gaming performance. Basically, download Quick CPU. Go ahead and once you have the application, go ahead and click it. And once we're in here, this is basically the interface and by now you should have all four cores enabled. This is your temperature. And yes, my temperature is pretty darn high, but you know, it's for the performance. You want to go to options and click CPU set maximum performance. Click that. And then it says changes successfully applied. Click OK. And then click apply right here. It's just for extra measures. And then you should have your ultimate performance power plan on right here. This will tell you your temperature. And basically, you should see an increase in speed. Go ahead and close out of that. And you should most likely see a little bit of boost in performance or high boost. I'm not really sure. This is going to be the final tip here. And basically what we're going to go ahead and do is speed up Windows by going through the registry, okay? Now, um, if you know these, then you go ahead and click off the video. Um, I've seen this done a lot. Is the mini show delay and the mouse hover time. So basically, if you don't know about this, go ahead and press Windows plus R and type regit. Once you have that typed in, click OK. You want to go ahead and go to High Key Current User and click the arrow. And then what you want to do next is go to Control Panel. Okay. After going to Control Panel, basically you want to click Desktop. And what you want to go ahead and go to here is Menu Show Delay. You want to go ahead and find that to wherever this is. Let's see. Right here, Menu Show Delay. This will probably be enabled to 1. You want to go ahead and set this boy all the way down to about zero and then click ok basically what you want to go ahead and do is now you want to click mouse okay found mice that ah, found mouse ah found mouse hover time you want to go ahead and click that and change the value from whatever value is like 400 or whatever to about a hundred and click ok and after this go ahead and research your computer and see if there's a boost or an increase in FPS about here. Here's an extra little tip right here. So basically you want to go ahead and click your taskbar, right click it, click task manager. And basically some programs on your computer might be slow because they're using all your cores. Let's act like the registry editor right here, which is running right now, is like your game. Right click it and click go to details. And then basically you want to right click it again. You want to go to set affinity. And basically this is allowing what processors basically this is letting like certain processors run your game or whatever or whatever program basically what you want to do to get the fastest like experience out of this is set it to only using one out of all your cores go ahead and click ok after doing that setting things to high priorities or below it does not actually help out it actually causes instability in your game. Hope that this did help you guys out. If it boosts your FPS, go ahead and comment in the comment section below, like this video, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time if I do ever find more ways of how to speed up your computer. Peace out.